Anyone saying goodbye to a kid going off to college? Anybody? Anyone here? No, nope. it's senior Nobody. day, so maybe some grandkids are yes, headed off to college, too. Yeah. Mine are going to kindergarten first. I'm going to cry. <laughs> we all want to enjoy the last days of summer, especially the kids, but every parent wants to make sure they stay safe. But that's not always easy, even with the most standard equipment. That's why Children's Hospital will join us live to show us some simple ways to know if your child's gear is the right fit. Well, we know kids love to get outdoors as much as possible before the long Minnesota winter gets here, but it's easy for them to get hurt, especially if they don't have the right helmet when they're on their bikes and if it's not fitted properly. Joining us now is Christy Moline from Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota. Thanks so much for being here. And we have a lucky audience member who has won this helmet, Jessica, and you're going to show us how to properly fit the helmet to her head. Yes, so when you're measuring your child's head for a helmet fit, you want to measure just above the eyebrows, keeping the tape measure level to the ground and then look for the corresponding size on the manufacturer's helmet so that'll tell you which size you should fit and when you place the helmet on it should fit nice and snug and they all have adjusters on them so be sure you look at the the helmet manufacturer instructions for how to adjust it make sure the clip on the bottom is no um, larger than you could fit a one finger so it should be snug enough so you can't fit more than one finger under the chin and these straps under the ears should make a nice tight V and then make sure it's sitting level on the head. Shake your head around for me. It shouldn't move around much at all. This would be a proper fitting helmet, nice and tight, doesn't move around when the kids are jostled on their bikes. Okay, let's talk about this though. I know sometimes my kid's helmet ends up way up here. That's a big no-no. It is a big no-no. The helmets do not protect what they don't cover. So it's important to cover everything on the head that needs to be protected. So it should be fitting level on the head. You shouldn't have it exposed like this. I often see kids wear it with the chin strap unbuckled, and that would do nothing if they were thrown from their bicycle. So, so is it a, a tough thing when the kid says it's too tight or it's restrictive or it's choking me? Yeah, it, it is challenging. You just have to convince the child that it's important for their safety to wear it snug so that it doesn't fall off. And how much of a difference can it make having the helmet on properly and securely? It's said that children wearing helmets on bicycles can reduce the risk of brain injury by as much as 85%. So it's important to keep kids wearing helmets and just remind them of the importance of, of helmets. And you wear your helmet. Mm -hmm. Which is good to hear. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. And people can come to the Children's and Hospitals and Clinics booth also and learn about the Heimlich Maneuver and other things. Right. Yep, we are teaching people how to do the abdominal thrusts to assist somebody who's choking. We're also showing people how to use an AED in case they're not familiar. And then we've got a nutrition station showing children how much sugar is in some of the things that kids like to eat. And along with that, we have an injury prevention section that shows a proper fitting helmet and a game, injury prevention Plinko, so kids can come and win a prize if they answer a safety question. Christy and Jessica, thanks so much for joining us. I happen to be a member of the Children's Hospital Association board, and uh, we are having a ball coming up in October. We want to invite everybody to it. It's the Storybook Ball, October 30th at St. Paul's River Center. You wear gowns, tuxes, just dress up, and it supports all the wonderful things that Children's Hospitals and clinics in St. Paul do. So I really invite you to join us. We do have a link on our website at kstp.com slash links. If you're interested in coming and dressing up and having some fun, Patrick, we'd love to see you there in your tux. Ah, I don't fit in mine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just get it taken out every year, a little, little by little. <laughs>